What's going on guys, CWG here, welcome to episode 92 on the Vault Hunters SMP. Did you know 92 is the atomic number for uranium? You know, for the intro, I was going to throw a lot more uranium ore, but I literally only had the one. Because I'm actually very poor when it comes to uranium. Off camera, I made this thing called a fluid grid. Uh, you can actually make fluid drives to put in your drive disk. Like I might add another one for fluids right underneath this guy. And you can actually store fluids inside of your uh, refined storage system, which is pretty cool. Of course, it has nothing in it because I don't have any fluids in. But if we were to get it, it would be here. Now, I've been wondering what color I should make it. You know, my colors, uh, you know, if I take off my shiny armor, are yellow for the crowd, green for the shirt. What about black? Can I dye this black? Ooh, I can. That looks kind of cool. Oh no, in the comments, tell me what color we should dye our fluid grid. So I've been messing around and making some crystals because I want to get a little bit more ores before we fortune all of our ores. But I've been making this crystal. It's got copious on it and plentiful. It just needs rich and I managed to grab this catalyze, which adds strong, rich, and raging, which is good, because this makes this a CRP crystal. But it does have raging, which is do mob steel double damage, which is actually pretty dangerous. Now, luckily, I managed to grab this vault catalyst that literally just has raging on it, and we could put on a perfect echo gem to make it a vault inhibitor, which will remove raging. I run the crystal back through, and raging is gone. You'll love to see it. Now, it also has hunger, poisonous, and slowness on it but of course we have our idol of super immunities that we can use by the way i asked y'all to come up with a name for the sword and the idol so let's see what y'all came up with so for the name of the idol y'all came up with the vault vaccine because it has so many immunities as four different immunities and in which three of the uh bad things of this crystal are going to be completely negated Thanks to the Vault Vaccine! Next, y'all came up with a name, the Withering Strike for the Sword. Nice. Also, y'all told me that I could grab the 16k storage drive, shift right click it, oh, that's how you take out the disc. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that's how you did it. And by the way, the way we're gonna take advantage of the CRP crystal is I have so many of these crystal cave runes, we're gonna throw on 16 of them. Oh, it's gonna cost... 32 levels just to add eight of them. Oh my goodness. Well, there's eight crystal cave rooms. Now question, is eight the limit or can we give it even more? Oh my gosh, we can give it more. 16 crystal cave rooms. You'll love to see it. Oh, uh, if I can find someone else to run this with, this would be perfect because there's so many crystal cave rooms. Oh, by the way, you guys are geniuses. Someone from the comments of the last video went through the riddle and found out the one with no nose and bears poison is a snake, and the one that has water on it is a cactus. If you guys remember from last episode, there's this one uh, puzzle we couldn't figure out, and apparently, yeah, the thing with no nose is a snake that has poison, and the one that has water and spines is the cactus. So... We have to go to the cactus farm. I would have never have figured that out. So I am really happy that y'all are big brain in the comment section. Shout out to Christopher. And there were a few other of y'all who figured it out in the comments. So really good job. Our community on YouTube is starting to become too powerful. Y'all are getting too smart. What do we do? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, cacti farm. Uh, where am I looking? Oh, yep. Right there. So there's the final knowledge star that we got hidden from us. Oh, did the hopper suck it up? Oh no, where'd it go? Give me the knowledge star. Oh, for a second I thought it tried to steal it from me. And there we go. Final knowledge star from the scavenger hunt. Shout out to Code for setting up that crazy scavenger hunt for us to help us get refined storage. We need to do something to help him out soon. I'm just not sure what we can do. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas of a way that we can help code back out. Like a, like a prank, but a good prank. Corey, 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 have you seen it? The soul shard menu, there, there's a key. A key? There's a key, Ooh. but I don't have enough soul shards. I need like a thousand more. And you need soul shards. And everyone needs soul shards. And I have this All amazing, almost ICC crystal. It's got impossible and crowded. But it also has Endless, the rarest modifier, plus 10 Ooh. minutes. And it has some other junk on it. But, you know, I got the ultimate vaccine, so Ooh. I can block all the immunities. I know you nice. also have a pretty good immunity idol. 
Then after this vault, we got a CRP one we could run. We got some fun ones to run. Nice. First, we get to smack some mobs. And then after that, we get the, 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 the loot or something. Which means, viewers, we're going to have lots of gambling to do. Your favorite thing. You know, soul shard gambling. Oh, by the way, uh, guys, this is uh, Corey. He lives under a rock and he's wearing my helmet. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do have the same helmet. <laughs> Bruh. All right, we're in the vault. Oh, wow, an upside down room right off the bat. Yes. I would normally want to do this, but actually, this is probably a good, not a bad room for fighting mobs because there's a big floor down here. Oh, yep, the mobs are coming. Oh, yeah, did I mention they're, uh, they're baby mobs? The babies, yeah. <laughs> Just aim above their heads and you'll be fine. Honestly, they look a lot less intimidating when they're this small. Oh, there's a witch scale. A witch scale. Here, here, here. Oh, I got him. You got an achievement. Was that Iskal laughing? Well, me and Corey hey. are going to gather a bunch of soul shards. And we'll be back after 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, Corey, I've got it a whole bunch of soul shards. I got over 5,000. Oh, man. And you have enough to get the key, so it's time to get out of this vault with three minutes left. This is one of the rooms where the boss can teleport around, so hopefully it doesn't. Oh, I killed the vault robot! <laughs> Didn't even use execute just to disrespect it. Get wrecked. <laughs> it's like a one shot. Corey, we did it, and you're covered in arrows. Am I covered in arrows? I have one arrow. In <laughs> Good, you only got one. We got a couple boss crates. It's because my parry is so high, I blocked the arrows. Ooh, we got stuff, and we got stuff. Burger. Wow. Nom. I nom the burger. <laughs> all right, here. I'll just yoink all the stuff out of here because I want to gamble some soul shard. First, I'm going to open this relic. It's a twitchy moat. Wow. Pog. Nice. All right, so we have. 5,000 soul shards. Corey's bought the key. Hey, maybe I'll gamble myself a key. There you go. All right, first thing we got, an idol. Gross. I'm going to rank it. Left is the best, right is the worst. Next, we got key. Let's go. Oh. That means I technically got a key cheaper than you. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is an Omega Magnet. <gasps> oh, someone else could get the, the, the greater ring of magnetization. Oh, code. Nice. I could probably sell this to code for a hefty profit. <laughs> I like that's how, how that's what I think of. Uh, next is uh, <laughs> I got a bitter lemon. Although nice. I'm going to hopefully I get another triple copious crystal so I can start saving my vault fruits again. Next is. Is yep. a seal of the executioner. Okay, I got a bunch of those. So, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm supposed to rank these. I'd say key, <laughs> key, omega magnet, lemon seal, and then idol. Is our next gamble? We get vault essence. Eve, that's the worst so far. <laughs> next, repair core. I'll put that above the seal, below the lemon. All right, a few more. We got another idol. Ew. Ooh, at least it's a tier two. So I can put that above the tier one. Two more gambles left. Perfect paydite. That's barely above the vault essence. And the last one is a mod box, which I'll put like, I don't know, in the junk section. So we managed to get a key out of it and an Omega Magnet. Pretty good finds. All right, Corey, are you ready for a CRP vault that also has, uh, what else does it have on it? Oh yeah, 16 crystal cave rooms. Check it out. Uh, you have your poison immunity. I do. Yep, sweet. I have my vaccine, so I am oh, ready. To the portal! Oh. oh, if you guys didn't know, Corey has a secret boulder portal. <laughs> yeah. So he never has to interact with society. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we got four obli. Nice. So we just gotta go around and find all the crystal cave rooms, and it's silent, so there should be, like, no mobs, so it's gonna be fun. Which way did you go? Left? I went, uh, straight. Okay, I'm going left. The hey, west. what do you know? A crystal cave. Oh, I think I got an echo right off the bat. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Dude, Too I'm just going to go nuts with the Terra Shatter and just shatter everything with these crystal rooms. And all the junk, most of the junk away. goes away because of my inscription thingy. Oh, I'm actually There's an end world. Nice. Ooh, end world is a win. Imagine if we find a mine room. I would, like ask you to marry me oh that would be amazing it's gonna be the part where i get clipped out of context again and that's bound to just, happen they just see a video it's like 
CWG Corey marriage win? Question mark? <laughs> Dude, even oh, these little I trees. Oh, I found another one! Like... And it has another echo! Ooh. Oh, this Let's one's go. got hunger also. Yeah, but hunger's part of my vaccine. I don't have to worry about anything. Alright, so apparently, yeah, dry grass and some other random blocks I don't have in my inscription table yet. How silly of me. So I will have a little bit of inventory clogation, but I see black opal. Mmm! I'm just mining like a madman. Like, look, there's another crystal cave room! Number, <laughs> number three! Let's go! Just destroy them! And there's another echo! <laughs> Three echo ore so far, let's go. Break. Oh, I found number four crystal room. Let's go. Another echo! Let's go! Five echo ore. Dang, crystal cave rooms are. They're better than I gave credit for. And there's another crystal room! Let's go. Another echo! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, every single crystal has had a crystal room has had at least one echo. Did they like up the echo drop rates in the latest update or something? Because I have no idea. Or is it just because of we're doing so many crystal rooms? I think I, it's I just because you're destroying the entire world. Oh, you're the, bound to find the echo that are hiding. Oh, the terra shatter. <laughs> Maybe because I usually don't mind crystal caves with terra shatter. I don't think like I don't think I've found any echo. Yeah, so something I've learned after you've mined out the entire crystal, whatever, mine down because there's ores underneath them. How did I not know this? Ooh, and there's a geode. Ooh, but bad spawner. Oh, the terra shatter just wrecks spawners too. I did not know that. If you just mine anywhere near a spawner, the terra shatter just says nope. It's gone. Another crystal cave! Wow! Wow! Another crystal room! Black opal! Echo! Let's go! The echo luck is back! <laughs> We're up to seven echoes so far. Woo! Alright guys, we got our boss fighting Eidolon. Blow my pants off. We're about to blow the pants off of this boss as soon as as our boy Cory gets here. Where is he at? On the way. Oh, there's another obelisk right here. Oh. Whee! Oh, you're over there. Hi. Hi, are you ready? Ready! Three, two, one, go! It's the mini boogeyman! Oh, he's man. tiny! <laughs> it's, I can't actually see where he is. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's so tiny, it's hard to see! He's smaller than the Execute! <laughs> Alright, I would have been able to kill him quicker, but he's so tiny, like, I couldn't see him. Where'd he yeah, go? Yeah, that was interesting. Let's play. Well, we got him. Seven Echo Ore down the hatch. Let's go. Zombie invasion at the house! <laughs> this happens sometimes. I sleep on the stump. Corey, we got a boss crate. What do we get? Stuff. I want burger. You can have rest. Fancy stuff. Well, thanks for writing those vaults with me. Thank you. Thank you. For getting me rich. Get rich quick, boy. Well, that vault really took me by surprise. We got a surprising amount of ores from just crystal caves. Like, this is all the things we got. This is all the pog ores, and we got a ton of all the other ores. Now, originally, I wanted to fortune all the ridiculous amount of ores we had this episode, but I promised you guys I would fortune it when we hit 10,000 ores, and we only had 8,200. Now, with this extra amount of ores, I'm going to add it to our barrels, and I will do the math, and I'll see if we have 10,000 ores. Oh, baby. I'm a bit scared, because I think it's going to be pretty close. And, ladies and gentlemen, the numbers are in. And I'm proud to pronounce to you, we have 10,261 ores, not including these ones. So, we have actually a little bit more. That means next episode, we're going to be using Fortune 8 on 10,000 vault ores. Let's get some hype in the comments! So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. You'll want to see this. And with that, we're out of time for today's episode. Catch you guys next one. CWG, out.